What's going on guys? Today in this video we're talking about the Logitech G335. Respectable audio, a comfortable build, and some other interesting features. I was pretty excited to be able to test this headset out, and let me tell you, I was quite surprised. Like for starters, the Logitech G335 is an incredibly easy to use gaming headset. It comes with a limited gaming focus control layout that lacks media playback or channel mixing options, but it gives you a volume wheel on the left ear cup for easy on the fly adjustments. You can mute the microphone by flipping it up. It also provides an audible click when it's muted or unmuted. It has this angular cool looking design and it also comes in three bright different variants to fit your complete unique style. The build quality is solid for a headset under $80 and is made with glossy matte finished plastics, but certain parts feel relatively fragile. It features an adjustable ski band style headband to find an appropriate fit. It has a memory foam padding with breathable fabric covering on the ear cuff to deliver a good seal and nice stability. Although users with larger heads might find this fit somewhat tight. Overall, it's a surprisingly very light headset that's very comfortable and probably could go for a long time in gaming sessions. It is a wired gaming headset, so it comes with a 1.8 meter cable with it. It utilizes a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which provides near universal compatibility with gaming systems, including your Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox One. It also comes with a Y splitter cable that adds some additional length and enables audio and microphone functionality with PCs. One of the main benefits of wired options is the exceptionally low latency connection, so in-game audio and visuals are properly synchronized, but it lacks the freedom of wireless headsets. If you're looking for a similar alternative, but wireless, the Logitech G435 uses Lightspeed and Bluetooth connectivity as compared build quality, but it's slightly more expensive. By the way, if you're enjoying this video or even learning something about the Logitech G335, then give the video a like. It'll help our channel grow. And if you're looking for updating pricing on all these items, check the links in the description. You never know when these things are gonna go on sale. I did, however, think that the audio quality was somewhat unspectacular, but it is pretty decent for a sub $80 headset. The 40 millimeter Neo Dimium driver delivers a bright sound with a relatively weak bass response. So in-game sound effects like explosions can lack some emphasis but the overall bass accuracy is impressive and doesn't add excess boominess. The mid-range response is respectable and performs admirably with dialogue and lead instruments, but the treble presence is a bit harsh and lacks some clarity when reproducing subtle details. It also generates an impressive stereo image to help your in-game performance. Unfortunately, it lacks active noise cancellation, so you're gonna get some sound leakage at higher volumes. It also lacks a built-in spatial awareness, so you're gonna miss out on some cues, so you're not gonna hear footsteps as well if you're playing some kind of games. But it's compatible with systems that use Windows Sonic and Dolby Surround Sound. I would've liked to see an adjustable graphic equalizer or preset sound modes, but it excels with basics and should suit the casual gamer. It has a Discord certified unidirectional microphone to communicate with your teammates, and it delivers respectable recording quality considering the price. Speech sounds reasonably natural and clear, but voices can sound thin at times. The boom microphone allows for good placement flexibility to find an optimal pickup position, and it provides impressive noise handling capabilities. So it's not a bad option if you're gaming in a noisier environment. All things considered here, the Logitech G335 is a decent no-frills gaming headset. With its incredibly comfortable design, near universal capability with gaming systems, and solid microphone performance, it's not difficult to see why it's a popular option in this sub $80 price range. If you're looking for something similar but wireless, the Logitech 435 we talked about earlier is definitely the good wireless option that's almost like this, but just the wireless option. The G335 is designed for the casual gamer. It offers comfortable gaming experience for a long period of use, and pretty good audio for a decent price. But hey, that's just my opinion. Why don't you guys tell me your opinion in the comments down below? And if you're looking for updated pricing on the items, check the links in the description. And hey, if you learned something from this video or even just enjoyed it, why don't you give it a like? And subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you even like short, informative tech videos. But until then, I'll see you next time.